So let's talk about the Wally's weird French cousin, the Mephisto, a vehicle that is very much resembling the Wally, but looks way more aggressive. But before we go ahead and get past this short and sweet intro, I just want to let you guys know really quick that you guys are awesome for using that discount link as much as you guys have been for this current sale. I just found out within the last day or two that the 3% does work for the sale i don't know if that's a mistake on guidance part but it does work so that means you technically get more of a discount on top of the 25 or 50 percent you are already getting for the current summer sale and also don't forget to look at other creators more specifically one who i admire very much his name is john claude von schott he is a war thunder russian streamer who streams in english and my god that man has a heart of gold guys i'm gonna have his link down in the description below give him some love as he definitely deserves it all right and this also goes for oddballs you know fly daily of course uh wingling dragon other awesome creators in the twitch category and the youtube category who have discount links and you also get the uh, decals which are super awesome right it's another way to support us as creators so again thank you guys for doing that as much as you have been over the last couple of days so Let's go ahead and talk more about the French Mephisto. And when I said this is going to be a short and sweet intro, I wasn't kidding. This thing has some features that we already know in War Thunder, such as the toes, or excuse me, the hot and the hot two missiles, right? This is one we already have around 8.3 with the Raken Yak Panzer II hot. It's a good missile. It is susceptible to being intercepted by, uh, or excuse me, uh, disrupted by uh, active protection systems, uh, the soft kill ones anyways. But thankfully, when it comes to soft kill systems in uh, the 8.3 area, they're pretty damn rare. You only will find them with the Brunus or maybe with the uh, the Puma if it does get down tiered, which it probably will. And also, this thing has no armor. Check this out. 8 millimeters. Everything that looks at you is going to kill you. And don't forget, if you get shot in the tube, you will blow up. Simple as that. And this thing carries a lot of ammunition and only four crew members that's right so keep that in mind when you do play this vehicle aside from that it is very quick right 90 kilometers an hour but just because it goes 90 doesn't mean you'll ever reach that because going off road with this thing we all know by now that uh wheeled vehicles in war thunder kind of suck right just they, they don't work as well as they should i would think and this thing is no exception to that rule but what you do have again is an excellent hold down vehicle you do have i believe uh what's the depression on this thing it's plus 10 it doesn't tell me what the depression is vertical guidance plus 10 it doesn't tell me it does depress just a little bit but i can't quite find it all right we'll have to find out in the game itself maybe i'm missing it but it is a stabilized vehicle you do get generation one thermal sites which is very nice for the most part is it gen ones i'm pretty sure it's gen ones we'll, we'll find out in the game shortly but enough talking let's go ahead and take this bad boy out and see how it fares in today's environment and hopefully we don't run into any amd ones let's begin so i made a big mistake <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh at this one i promise i made a new lineup right so that i can just bring out this and a couple of other vehicles and i end up accidentally going into arcade because when you make a new lineup it defaults you to arcade mode so I was playing this thing for about a good 10 seconds, and then I realized, holy crap, it's really snappy. Why is that? I look, and it's... Yeah, we're in uh, an arcade. <laughs> so I had to get myself killed, and here we are now. So yeah, my, uh, my vehicle lineup is kind of locked, so sorry about that. But anyways, not exactly the best possible map we can be in, but I might take advantage of the B point, because it is a nice hold down position for us. Or at least it has a bunch. Anyways, let's uh, make this good. 
Really? You s There we go. Oh, that didn't last long. There goes my engine. Uh, hey, can I have a tug? Uh, if you're gonna come over here, can you at least fix me up or give me a tug or something? That that does not sound right. That's not something a guy should ever say to another guy. Just saying. But <laughs> yes, wait a minute. No, no, no. Push me forward, not back. What are you doing? No, push me into it. What? Great. You know what? Much respect. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. That's thanks. No <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa, crap. Um, turn, 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 please don't look at me, yeah, gotcha, buddy, Woo! I think it's one more, that's an RCV, um, that is a really, really, really scary vehicle, the RCV, because he can kick my ass in a heartbeat, oh god, got him, how am I still alive, are you serious? How? This thing has no armor. Oh, no armor, best armor, I guess. Oh, front. Mm. Ah, screw it. Uh, definitely not screw it. There we go. Come on. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Gotcha. Are we sure this thing is French? It, uh, it does not like to reverse very well at all. Oh, I'm nervous. Why am I playing this thing so aggressively? Oh, no. Ah! Not good. Rude. I'm gonna die. This guy's coming after me, guys. Oh no. Does he really have the NVIDIA thing on top? Oh crap. I'm dead. Yep, here it comes. Ah. Eh. Alright, I gotta back up. Yeah, so right after I spawned, I get strafed again. It was just, it was kind of a rough situation. So it, it kind of is what it is. This thing is a super easy target and that map was not well suited for this type of vehicle. So we are in a good map suited for us. I kind of figured out how good the depression is. So up here might suit us a little bit better. Cool. Oh, great. Yep, come on. Gotcha. Ugh. Not a good start. I'm trying to get myself into a good position, but it's kind of hard to do so with this thing because it has no gun depression <laughs> at all. All right, well, let's hope this goes good. Ooh, missile, missile. What was that? I, I got no eyes. That was for me and I have no idea what it was. Uh, oh, great. I, I can't really do reverse because this thing doesn't have good reverse. Gotcha. Oh, what is that? Hold up. Gotcha. Ooh. Ooh. Damn, that was lucky of me. <laughs> Think front. I don't know if that's him. I hear him. That's him. Mm, not good. Not good. Not good, not good, not good. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> Oh man, this is hard. Nah, seriously, this thing is really hard to use. I'm telling you, it's amazing. This thing, 8.3, it's the only stabilized vehicle. <laughs> oh, I hear him to the right. I'm gonna take a wild guess, it's our friend. Yep, gotcha. And you know what? It only cost me two crew members. I'll be honest, I saw him earlier. I just made it look like I just spawned in and I'm just talking, <laughs> but I knew he was right there, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, but this thing is it's hard to play because it's not fitting my play style. Not one damn bit. Tank coming up to my left. You hear that reverberating engine. How much you want to bet it's the same guy? Come on. Gotcha. Got one more for you. Oof. 
Really? Oh, I got one more. Gotcha. I think that was the same guy, too. And I'm surprised he actually survived that. No overpressure? No nothing? Kind of shocked, to be honest. I'm just going to say this right now. If you want to see a brilliant player play this thing and do very well in it, go look up Cave Nub. That guy knows exactly what he's doing with this thing. Me, on the other hand, not so much. But you know what? I'll take four kills. Let's get the hell out of here. Now, this is a map for us. Nice, wide and open, good distance. I think we are, uh, we're down tiered. I, and uh, in truth, I didn't even see where we're sitting at, but we are down tiered by the looks of it. Now, this, this is going to be fun because we're going to be sniping. First one up. And damn it, hit a fence. And gotcha. Boom. Object 120. Perfect. I was kind of hoping to get that missile on top of the fence or over the fence so that it doesn't do that, but eh, it's kind of a forgiving vehicle, so I'll give it that. Oh, what is that? Don't know what it is. Come on, he doesn't see me though. Gotcha. Is that the same 0120? I think it is. I'm not trying to spawn camp here anything. Come on. Just trying to find myself a good spot to do exactly that. Perfect. Another one. Oh, shit. I'm looking at their spawn, aren't I? Oh, okay. I'll just hang out right here for right now. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what do you see? What do you see? I want in. Hey, I want in on this. What is that? Oh, I got it. I got it. Come on. Boop. 900 millimeters. Wait, is it 900? I, I completely forget. Yes, 900 millimeters of... Uh, yes. <laughs> but in truth, I uh, I don't know where to go. I can't go in the city. There's, there's an auto cannon right there, and they're kind of scared. You know what? Oh. Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. Okay. 50 count. Ah! Got him. Whew. Yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of tricky. <laughs> it really is. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Where? Oh, I see him. I got one missile left in the tube. And I am super, super exposed. So that means if he looks at me, I'm dead. There he is. Come on. Oh, God. Bush. Okay. Got to rearm. Last set left. Go get him, teammates. Uh, what is that? I, I can't identify what that is. Get him. You got him. You got him. Come on. I'm trying to rearm this damn thing. Holy crap. There we go. And firing. Give me an overpressure, please. Nope. Overpressure that doesn't make any sense, whatever. Here we go, got him perfect. I gotta rearm, but the problem is this thing takes forever to rearm. Oh, heavy boy T10A, beautiful. <laughs> what this thing was designed to do knock out heavy tank. Okay, well, not really, but I like to think it is. Oh, am I right behind someone? I am last missile. Okay, that was my last one. There's somebody on the point right here and he needs to take it now because I, I can't do anything. I'm a walking free target. So would you believe me if I told you that using missile carriers like this used to be much easier? That's right, in the past, your uh, ATGM wasn't bound to your sight. It was bound to your cursor. So if you were to move the cursor anywhere it would follow just this right here it doesn't matter how far it was it would always follow it but gaijin has long since corrected that to make it so that it only fires from either the commander's site or the gunner's site which pretty much the same thing but yeah that, those were much easier times and i'm kind of glad it's the way it is but if this thing had just a little bit more gun depression much like the wallies i think it'd be a different story but anyways let's see how well the rest of this game goes yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do except kind of wait for these guys to come around and I guess hit them from behind by the looks of it and boop you get another one Gotcha, perfect. I like the fact that this is kind of quick firing So you're able to get one shot off after the, uh, the other That's pretty good, but uh, I, We're just kind of getting lucky right now <laughs> Whoa, hey hi, there's a uh, there's a t54 coming this way yeah, Mike, there you go. Oh, I got the side of him. You shot? 
Hey, buddy. Boom. Just look at the helicopter, or excuse me, the aircraft flying overhead, and then I see a T-54 coming this way, so... Yeah, cool. Whoa, what the... Wait, hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh god oh god i'm dead there it comes oh, i'm not dead yet what is oh i was like what are you doing oh i'm gonna die next round watch he's gonna come back and strafe my ass oh no come on cap this point please cap it oh god here he comes okay oh okay you know, I'm kind of glad there is no, uh, collision. Just saying. Now this, this is a perfect setup for us. And, ooh, what's this? What's this? Oh, I think he sees it coming. I actually, does he? There he goes. Come on, keep going. Keep going that way. Come on, come on, give me a poop. Yes. Only Commander Gunner. That oh, and I got your wheels, too. I guess that counts for something, but... Uh, all right. All right, let me, uh, get... Oh, he popped smoke. Uh, all right, you can fix that, buddy. I'll get you in a second. Oh, someone's got their eye on me. I might have to move. Still want this guy, though. He's, uh... There he is. Come on. That might be the guy shooting me, actually. Give me a second. Oh, he sees this coming. Yeah, I know you see this coming. Give me a boot, please. And gotcha. Perfect. Rui Cat 105. Man, you know what's funny, though? It doesn't matter what he shoots me with, DM33 or not. It would probably kill me in one hit. Just saying. Oh. Yeah, let's not stay here. Oh, that's where he's at. Uh, I don't think he has a shot on me, but I got a shot on him. Ooh. Oh! Oh, I hit him! Really? Uh, this is not good. 12 second repair, though. I'm not an expert crew or an, or an ace crew or nothing. This is, this is interesting. Oh, they got him, too. Nice. Oh, he's still there. Come on. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Come on, stay there. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. The hots aren't laser guided, are they? I completely forget. I hear a helicopter. And there he is. Oh, great. Watch a phase right through him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And give me a smack, please beautiful <laughs> come on that is incredibly satisfying we get to hit helicopters with ATGMs. always is all right let's uh let's keep it going you know what i really expected more i expected a bigger fight uh long range engagements but no instead i just got oh great i'm being bullied uh yeah <laughs> all right let's get out of here so there you have it that is exactly how you don't play the mephisto I'm not kidding. <laughs> this thing, you're not supposed to be aggressive, all right? You're not supposed to do what I did with it because it doesn't make any sense. You're a big, vulnerable, thinly armored target. You're supposed to snipe with this thing. You have to sit around for a while and wait for people to pretty much come into your area of effect, your kill zone. But in truth, it doesn't look good for videos. It doesn't. I'll be honest. I'm a YouTuber. I have to make it look more aggressive and interesting because do you really want to see me just sit there and snipe people for, you know, 20 plus minutes? Or do you want me to uh, be aggressive and get lucky and make it look like this is the best thing ever when in reality, this is a vehicle that you have to bring out in a very, very specific type of situation? Let me explain. That previous map and the one before it were two excellent maps to bring out this vehicle. Nice, flat, open, wide, easy area, easy to knock out targets at distance, and not in, say, I don't know, uh, what's, a, what's a good map? I can't even think of a name for it. Let's say White Rock Fortress, right? That's a terrible map for this vehicle. Or any sort of urban environment, Alaska, etc. You don't play it in those maps. I mean, you can but you're not really going to get much out of it. So my honest opinion of this thing, or at least my, my view of it, is you have to bring it out in very specific situations and not as a lead vehicle, not as the first one. I mean, you don't really have to because you have the Brunus, you have the AMX-13 HOT, you have the AMX-30 B2. You have all these wonderful vehicles that, although aren't stabilized, they perform incredibly well. But this thing is very much a situational type of vehicle, one of which that will treat you very right if you use it correctly. 
Actually, I meant to say it'll treat you very well. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's been a long day. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for it. Let me know what you guys think about the Mephisto. Is this a vehicle really worth looking into? If you have any opinions, any views, any tactics on this, throw it out in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. I know in the previous video, you guys uh, put in a lot of really good input and I can't thank you guys enough for recommending newer players, you know, those purchases and the, uh, the top five purchases for uh, this summer sale. Seriously, you guys are super awesome and I'm humbled as hell. Thank you. <laughs> but anyways, as always, guys, thank you so much for checking this out. If you want to see this gameplay live, you know exactly where to find me over on Twitch. Link is down in the description below, as always. And while you're passing down there, check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel further. Get some behind-the-scenes stuff if you want to support even more. You know, 3% discount, etc., etc. Everything down is down there as needed. Oh, sorry, guys. I got done with the stream. It's been a long day. So with all that, again, being said, I will see you not only in the next video or even the streams, but in War Thunder itself. I'll see you next time.